Our topic is joints. Chapter thirteen, sport and movement, biology class ten. Joints is a place, is a location. It is a place or a location in body. where two bones or more than two bones make a contact where two or more bones make a contact means joints are the places or locations present in the body where two or more bones are joined because bones are joining in a place that is why we use the term joint joint by word literally means anything which is joining two other things joints function as a adhesive and they help the bones to get attached to each other for example this is the bone of upper arm and these two are the bones of the lower arms both of the upper bone and the lower two bones are making a contact in this place so this place is a joint now we talk about the types of joints mentioned in your books there are three types of joints described in your book first is fixed joints fixed joints are the joints which are present in the parts of body not moving at all for example in our skull there are 20 two joints because in the skull there are 22 bones each bone is joined to another bone making a fixed joint we cannot pull a part of our skull to the outside this is the proper shape of our skull it is always the shape of skull is always kept like this round in the bones present in the skulls never change their position or direction for example you have never seen a person's skull to be round like this at one time and then having a bulge in the mid of the top at another time because there is no movement here that is why the fixed joint consists of the bones which are not moving these joints the fixed joint do not allow any type of the movement the other type of joints is slightly movable joints slightly means very less to an extent slightly movable joints move very less these joints allow very less movement example of slightly movable joints in our body 
is between vertebrae in the vertebral column. Our backbone is called spine or vertebral column. And in our backbone there are about 26 small disc shaped discoid bones. 26 such bones join together to make a single backbone and these bones or the backbone or vertebral column are called vertebrae it is a plural word the singular of whose is vertebra the joints present between the vertebrae are slightly movable joints means these joints allow very less movement you can bend yourself forward or backward because of these slightly movable joints you cannot sudden move your backbone a head or backwards it will result in the breakage of breaking of the backbone the spellings of movable are two you can write m o v a b l e or you can write m o v e a b l e this is american spelling the other types of the joints which allow too much a wide range of the movements in one plane or more than one plane are called movable joints. Movable joints allow a wide variety of the movements. Example of movable joints described as types of movable joints in your book are hinge joints and ball and socket joints hinge joints allow movement in one direction only these allow movement in one direction and the movement is to and fro means you can move a part of body backward or forward by hinge joints Hinge is a device which is used for a door to get attached to the wall. As you can move the door in one direction, in forward direction or in backward direction, very similarly the hinge joints also move in one plane in one direction to and fro. Slightly movable joints also make the backbone move a bit forward and a bit, a bit backward but hinge joints completely move the structure which they are present in in one direction or the opposite of it in to and fro scheme the example of hinge joints present in your body are your elbow joint and your knee joint you can move your arm at elbow to the front or to the back you can move your leg lower leg back or to the front only in one plane to and fro fashion the elbow joint and knee joint are examples of hinge joints now we talk about ball and socket joints. Ball and socket joints allow movement in more than one planes. 
in more than one direction in more than one direction in more than one plane ball and socket joints allow a spin like movement you can move the part of the body where ball and socket joint is present all around example is shoulder joint and hip joint at shoulder joint you can move your shoulder to the all directions and at hip joint you can move your leg to the all direction the word ball is used for the shape of the bone and the socket is also used for the shape of another bone in ball and socket joint one bone is like a socket and uh, other bone is like a ball this bone is scapula of shoulder girdle and this bone is humerus of upper arm the top of the humerus is like the shape of a ball and it is fit into the scapula as if scapula is a socket that is why the ball and socket joints are named so they allow a wide range of movements